Coast Mountains area is typically a priority spot for NMDOT and Highway 14 where it hits I-40 could see some issues when that storm hits. NMDOT's Tierra's patrol station is revved up and ready to go. We're going to be road patrolling early this evening, making sure everything's looking good. And 1,200 tons of cinder salt mix are on standby. The patrol area in the East Mountains has one of the largest supplies of salt and cinder that will be ready to go when the storm hits. That cinder mix will help melt and break down some of the snow, and once it becomes slushy, some of these snow plows will move in. Interstates and major highways have priority and are usually the first to get salted. Secondary are other state highways like Paseo del Norte and farther northeast on Tramway. We realize that the canyon sits at a higher elevation, and so we kind of um, focus most of our forces in that area when storms roll in. Jordan Chavez is among seven crew members who will be working overnight. If we're getting hit hard on, the, on our priority one roads, then we focus on those uh, a little more. Those are our heavily traveled roads. And the snow needs to hit first before these crews drop that salt. Chances are sometimes it blows off the roadway and it kind of like, you know, can waste our material faster. So we try to hold on to it and just wait until we can treat the roadway knowing the route we're going to take. That salt cinder mix will be heavier in areas like this overpass on I-40 and some other bridges around town because those areas typically freeze up faster. In the East Mountains, I'm Christine Pei, KOAT Action 7.